Hi everyone, we're here today with our Wireless Connectivity Channel Marketing Manager, Dana Myers, to learn a little bit more about TI's Bluetooth solutions. So Dana, can you tell me a little bit about the products that TI offers? Yes, thanks Helena. So TI has a great portfolio from a Bluetooth perspective. We have Bluetooth Low Energy Solutions, Bluetooth Classic, and then some combinations like Bluetooth plus Bluetooth Low Energy and Bluetooth plus Ant. So if you look at kind of where these fit in, in the world, if you're doing things like low power sensors, say you're doing something you want with like a coin cell battery, you want it to last like a year, that's more gonna be just your Bluetooth low energy. If you're sending kind of higher data, you can use maybe Bluetooth low energy or combination devices. And then if you're doing things with audio, it's really more of a Bluetooth classic type solution that you can combine with maybe an M3 or M4 ARM type processor or now even with MSP430 for some lower end audio. So along with the solutions themselves, TI actually provides a whole bunch of things for the broad market. So we do things like reference designs. We have a lot of documentation around the hardware, the software. We have royalty-free software uh, Bluetooth stacks, as well as profiles, sample applications, a lot of information around it. And then we also have communities that support the customers to make it easier for them. That's great. So I often hear about Bluetooth Low Energy, and I know it's the big thing right now, but why should people still use Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Dual Mode? That's a great question. There's definitely a ton of momentum around Bluetooth Low Energy, and it, it's being used significantly. But if you look at where we are in the market, a lot of these applications are connecting to the phones and tablets, and today, not all of them have Bluetooth Low Energy. It's definitely heading in that direction, but if a customer wants to build a solution that works with any tablet or phone, really having that dual mode allows them to do that. The other thing I talked about from a, um, a use case perspective, if you're doing any kind of audio, it's really gonna be more Bluetooth classic. Also, if you wanna have longer range or higher throughput, if you're sending more than just kind of sensor data or things like that, your Bluetooth classic's gonna be a better fit. So having either just the Bluetooth Classic or that combination where you have a lot of flexibility and can do different things with it is great. Okay, gotcha. So Dana, can you tell me about the target applications for TI's Bluetooth solutions? Sure. We're seeing the Bluetooth being used in all kinds of different things, but maybe some of the areas, just wire replacement itself. Mm -hmm. So wanting to you know, get rid of wires a little bit, having things that are you know, within a room distance, doing things like that. There's a ton of things in health and fitness as well. So being able to have that connection, there's uh, sports equipment where you're actually analyzing things and then using Bluetooth to get it to an app on your phone. Cool. And there's also things like industrial control or just cell phone accessories in general, mm -hmm. just having something that you're wanting to connect and send information to the cell phone with. Wow, very cool. So many application areas that I didn't even know about. So what are some of the key differentiators that exist in TI solutions versus competitive solutions? I think there's kind of three main categories that we would put there. One is cost effectiveness, flexibility, and then high performance. Okay. So from a cost, uh, cost effectiveness, I think the big thing is we have different options from a hardware perspective. So customers can get it down if they want to use the, the lower cost device itself and then build the system around that. Also from a software perspective, we're providing the software for TI platforms royalty free. So it's available for customers to go to production from that perspective. Even things, we talked about the audio a little bit. So if customers are looking to do something like a lower end audio, they can actually do that with a very low cost, low power MSP430. And so bringing kind of that whole piece together makes it very cost effective for the customer. We talked about the modules a little bit too and mm -hmm. having that pre-certified. If a customer is going to use a pre-certified module, that saves them on the cost. Flexibility, we talked about it a couple times. There's several different options from both a hardware and a software perspective. So hardware, they have device from TI with the QFN package and then multiple uh, module vendors that are pre-certified such as LSR, Murata, and others mm -hmm. that provide different variations of modules, different classes of Bluetooth, antennas on board, off board, different designs and things like that. So there's a lot of flexibility on the hardware. Software is very similar as well. So if customers already have an MCU in their system and don't want to change, they have that flexibility to work with our partner Stone Street One to do that. If we don't have a particular profile in our solution and they want to add that, 
or they want to get additional support, they want to add MFI support, those things can be done as well with Stone Street One. Okay. So the last one is really high performance. So if you look at from a range perspective, so the combination of receive sensitivity and the output power is what gives you your range or how long the Bluetooth devices can be apart from each other. And TI really has best in class there. So that allows you to get you know, 100 meters, sometimes more than that, mm -hmm. which can go even beyond a room sometimes. So that's great depending on what kind of application that you're using. Okay. Uh, the other thing I think from with the combination, the dual mode that we talked about, if you're using our dual mode solution, you're typically getting like 2x the range with the Bluetooth low energy with the dual mode versus a, a traditional single mode solution. And you know, just kind of overall from a, a big picture perspective, this is our seventh generation of Bluetooth solutions. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we woke up yesterday and said, hey, let's go do Bluetooth, right. right? Yes, that makes sense. So if someone wants to get started with one of TI solutions, how can they do that? So we have different development platforms that they can get started with. One of the key ones is the CC256X QFN-EM. Okay. So that's an evaluation module that can go into different MCU boards. And then the Stone Street One software that's online and get started evaluating that and go from there. Great. That sounds awesome. Well, thanks, Dana, for all of that information. And thank you to everyone who's watching. We hope this information was helpful, and we'll see you soon.